I own Zach now, but when my dad passed, he had two dogs, Zach and Max, and I was taking care of both of them. But I was going through a transition, so my friends had the two guys, Zach and Max, go stay on a farm, like literally on a farm where people there looked at me like I was crazy because my dog had a bed and, you know, it was like, if your dog's not working and just sleeping outside, you know, you're ridiculous. So they spent a lot of time just outside in this fenced-in area with the horses and, you know, they loved it, but it was a little strange for them. So one night the uh, farmers left and left the gate open, apparently, and Zach and Max two black labs just took off like across the farm and I got this text you know your dogs or someone found my dogs I didn't even know they were escaped because had escaped because I didn't know what was going on on the farm you know they were just up in uh, near Poolsville Maryland or Dickerson so um, so we call back my friends that I was staying with and I recall because she knows the people a little better and this very nice young guy said he had found my dog. I was a little bit panicky and then he was incredibly like loving of dogs and he said, oh no, it's no problem, they're the sweetest dogs, you know, we just adore them and, you know, no worries about it, you know, just wanted to let you know and, um, you know, it said, well, I can't come and get them because they're supposed to be at the farm next door. So apparently when they escaped, they just went to like, this was a big family farm, like this awesome place, but they apparently just went to like the next group of friendly people. <laughs> you know, so they essentially picked this place and this place had pigs and it was working fine. These people were just amazing. So what happened consequently, I found out later after I drove up there, was the people who were watching them were like, fine, you know, you guys have them, you like them, why don't you just take them? I didn't even know where they were. I couldn't find them. So I went over there and then this guy says um, to my friends and I, he says, you know, my sister just loves your dogs. And it turned out that his sister um, she was a nurse, she was a stay-at-home mom, she had a family. They had just lost their black lab two weeks before. And I was a little concerned because, um, although I could take care of both of them, I didn't feel like I could give them enough, you know, attention. Um, and so I was, I was in the back of my mind looking for a home for Max, the other one, who's not obsessed with me like this guy is. Um, and she, you know, he mentioned that she might be interested. And my friend, who was pushing them to be adopted more than me, Max, you know, I was a little hesitant, but she put it out there, oh, you know, he's up for adoption and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And he, she was kind of the one that helped push me toward that because I didn't want to put an ad, you know, I didn't want to do any of that. So she spent some time, they stayed out there and we talked it over and she wanted to talk with her husband and they had all the stuff for a lab. They loved labs, you know, they lived on this farm and I went out to visit a couple times and they had them in this little fenced in area with little doggy hammocks right next to the pigs, these big black pigs that looked kind of like, you know, them. And the pigs were like super friendly and I kept saying, and the dogs are kind of like, my dogs were like, yeah, they were okay with it, but like, I don't know what these pigs are, and these, you know, of course, I don't understand farm life. Like, why am I outside all day on this hammock? And, but they were, you know, they were well taken care of, and these people took care of them while I was transitioning. You know, they didn't have to keep right. both of them. They just wound up there. So eventually I went up to visit and I could see that Max had really bonded this woman. I wanted to know a little bit about her first, you know, and she was super responsible. She wanted all his vet records <clears throat> and he was never neutered either. And she actually considered breeding him. And um, I could tell that he liked her already, you know, when I went up. So it seemed to really fit. I mean, not that it was, was easy. It was incredibly painful. <clears throat> and I haven't been back to visit since, even though they said I could come and visit. So consequently, um, he got adopted. And they said, you know, if you really can't take them, they said, well, we might take him. I'm not really sure, Matt, Zach, you know, I'm not really sure how it would work because he's so, like, one-on-one -on -one obsessed and he's not as easygoing. And I was like, no, 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 you know, he has to... He has to stay with me. So anyway, that was the story that we kind of felt like they chose. You yeah. know, they chose their owners, and these people had just lost their dog. So it's like these two dogs just show up on their farm. And, and now, you know, people say, sometimes for a while, people are like, oh, poor Max, and you had to separate him, and he could care less. You know, so, <laughs> and the other, and, and like Max has, a, I couldn't even imagine a better life. Like, they have a beach house. She's super smart. The fa there's extended family. There's animals, and she's home all day long. Yeah. And they already had everything, and they're super responsible. With like, they got all the vet records, and and they might even breed him. You know, he wasn't neutered because they have a place out right. there. So I mean, he got a really good 
deal. Yeah. So, yeah, it was a good story. First choice. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I've had enough pigs. Right? <laughs> we get in the car. Like, I'll live in an apartment as long as you're there. <laughs> I need the AC, please. Yeah, I need some AC in a bed. 